Europe and the United States abandon Russia and use 522 million euros to restart the Mars plan, but China may be two years ahead of the United States. The U.S. Mars sample return plan has been resurrected again and it will fight to death on the project. Without Russia, the European Space Agency, ESA, and NASA, NASA, are still persisting in their work and have signed a new agreement. It has to be said that the United States will continue to struggle with Mars sampling. However, China, which has long been the opponent of the United States, is afraid that it will show its hand in front of the United States again. Why do you say this way? It can only be said that the more worried the United States is, the more energetic China will be. In this video, let us learn more about it. Yes, the ExoMars Mars mission is actually a very long-term mission, but after Russia announced its withdrawal, the project basically stopped at the European Space Agency, ESA. However, this is only part of it. Part of the United States is also in a state of shutdown. People are worried about money every day, and there are even layoffs. In order to promote the execution of this mission, in 2024, NASA announced a simple Mars sampling plan. It is equivalent to overturning some early steps and reducing them if possible. Because if it is to be executed according to the original plan, the entire mission will cost 8 billion to 11 billion US dollars. As a result, we couldn't come up with so much money, so we could only change it. And even if it is implemented according to the original plan, this will dissatisfy the United States. Why? Because the plan is to launch an Earth return orbiter in 2030, a sample recovery lander in 2035, and return samples to Earth in 2040. This is too late. So, no matter what, it cannot be like this. At the latest, it can only extend the original plan a little. It is expected to launch an orbiter in 2027, a lander in 2028, and plan to bring samples collected from Mars back to Earth in 2033. Of course, it is still unknown whether it can be executed as planned, Although we saw that ESA and NASA reached an agreement on the ExoMars mission in Paris, France. The United States will provide landing engines and radioisotope heating devices for the Rosalind Franklin Mars rover, as well as launch services for the ExoMars mission which is scheduled to launch in 2028. However, the ExoMars Mars mission is still very difficult and the plan itself exceeds expectations and is quite complicated. You can take a look at the steps of the original plan, only you can't think of them. But is it really that complicated? How complicated is it? The first step is for NASA to launch the Perseverance Mars rover and then collect samples on Mars. The mission has been carried out and will be launched in 2021, and the samples have been installed in the sampling tube. The second step is to launch ERO, Mars Orbital Sample Returner, in 2027. This step has not yet been carried out, and even if it is launched as scheduled, it will operate in the orbit of Mars for nearly six years waiting for the return of the probe on the surface of Mars before docking and transferring samples. In the third step, in 2028, NASA launches the Mars Sample Collection plus Sample Ascent Probe to collect the samples, then dock with the Mars Orbiter Sample Returner launched by ESA, and then return to Earth. It is expected to reach the ground in 2031. From these three major steps, you can see that this mission is actually nothing more than a moon landing mission, so it is quite complicated. It's not something you need money to do. What's more interesting is that in order to ask for money, the director of NASA actually used photos of China's Tianwen-1 to ask for money, saying that China was getting ahead of itself again. 
Therefore, NASA decided to scale back and scale back again to have any hope of completing the mission. However, this time the new agreement is signed, as the saying goes, it is still unclear whether it can be implemented, but time is running out and China may be faster. This is also an obvious fact. This time, it is really possible for China to win. If it gets this first place, China has publicly expressed its position, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Moreover, foreign countries have seen the importance of China's Mars mission in aerospace. Indeed, when China was carrying out the Chang'e 6 mission, the British media published an article which said that Chang'e 6 was just the first try of China's ambition to explore the solar system. After China's Chang'e 6 successfully samples the far side of the moon, it will be the starting point for a larger goal, which is China's next Mars sampling plan, which is even more important. Therefore, the British media has a very thorough view of China's aerospace industry. Although it seems that lunar sampling has nothing to do with Mars sampling, they are both valuable tasks among China's space missions. Therefore, after China's Chang'e 6 digs a spoonful, it will go to Mars. However, the lunar mission is not the focus of this video. Let's return to the Mars mission. And China has also made an official statement China is expected to be the first to return samples from Mars. Although China does not have many Mars missions, with only one Tianwen-1 Mars probe launched, China has already achieved Mars orbiting and landing. The Zhurong Mars rover also carried out inspections and explorations, leaving Chinese traces on Mars for the first time. China's aerospace industry has achieved a leap from the Earth-Moon system to interplanetary exploration. Moreover, China already has a thorough understanding of Mars, so it is completely normal to conduct Mars sampling in the next step. However, China's Mars sampling mission is not on the Tianwen-2 mission, but on the Tianwen-3 mission. Indeed, according to the plan, China plans to launch Tianwen-2 around 2025 and Tianwen-3 around 2030 to implement the Mars sample return mission. The direct benchmark of the Tianwen-2 mission is not Mars but the accompanying detection and sample return of an asteroid 40 million kilometers away from the Earth. This makes many people confused. Isn't it named Tianwen just for the Mars mission? This is actually not a mission to Mars. In fact, there is a bit of a misunderstanding here. Although Tianwen-2 is sampling asteroids, it is an indispensable part of China's Tianwen-3 mission. China's Tianwen-3 requires technical verification of Tianwen-2. That is to measure the sampling technology before the Tianwen-3 mission can be realized. Therefore, it is not a direct key point, but it is also an intermittent relationship. This is the factor. Now everyone understands, right? So, don't worry. And in terms of time, no matter how deadly the European and American ExoMars missions are, they may not be able to complete the sampling mission before China. This is why China said on Space Day that looking at the progress of various countries around the world, China is expected to become the first country to return samples from Mars. Moreover, China has planned to build the world's first Mars sample laboratory, and at the same time deepen the demonstration of the Tianwen-4 exploration mission to achieve orbiting detection of Jupiter and its satellites and then reach Uranus. Therefore, China still has many space missions, and the Tianwen series of missions are also part of China's exploration of deep space stars. This is China's space mission. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.